Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season two, episode five of The Expanse. This episode is called Home. And as I understand it, this episode marks the kind of end of the first book of The Expanse. So I'm expecting it to be a really cool episode. As you can see, I am in the same top. For you guys, this has been three weeks. For me, this has been about four hours. <laughs> so <laughs> I've watched three, four and five all in the same day. I just happened to have some time today, which meant I thought, do you know what? I really want to watch these episodes. So I'm going to watch them and then I can then take my time in the editing. Anything that I might have missed because I've sort of compressed my viewings, I'll make sure I take the time when I'm editing to pay an additional bit of attention and you know you always get the sort of editor script tonight notes from me um, that go in for the stuff that I might spot once I go through that process. Oh my god that last episode I'm still in my emotions. That whole scene where they were launching the Naboo from Tycho it's up there with my favourite ever scenes in space. I can't even tell you why. I just like I was so excited. It just looked amazing. All those like little jet bots that were sort of the launch, the you know the launch booster things that were taking the Navu out of dock, and then sort of that sense of this really enormous thing moving through space. And then same at the other end when you know you were watching it go towards Eros and then it missed and we were like, what? How did it? What? You know, has Fred betrayed us? What's going on? And then, no, Eros moved. Eros moved. What the fuck? Miller's still sat there with a bomb about to go off. I'm not feeling good about this. I'm really not feeling good about this. Genuinely worried we're about to lose Miller. I sort of was quite relaxed by the time the episode ended and then while I've gone off and had my little break I was thinking about it and thought no this is really bad because now how the hell are we going to stop Eros? I literally have no idea and we're probably about to have everyone land in the area now because they're going to be coming after the Navu. We've just had to shoot the the hospital ship. That's been blown out the blown out the sky. It's tense. I still feel tense. So, without further ado, let's get into this episode. Let's have at it. Here we go. Miller, you're moving. I mean, Eros is moving. Fast. What? I got some crackpot reports. Eros, the whole damn asteroid is moving under its own power. It's not exactly possible, yet that's what we've got. Madam, the Mormon leadership in Salt Lake is claiming Johnson stole the Nauvoo after forcibly removing all their people from the ship. Tell me, Colonel Janus, how does a big rock like Eros suddenly turn into a ship? Madam, I don't know. Shit. Eris is what, 7,000 trillion kilos, give or take? Its temperature's gone up two degrees. Yeah, it's putting out 7,000 trillion kilos. Around 10 exajoules. Yeah. That's the energy of a two gigaton bomb. You could move Eros like that with a two gigaton blast. No. I think we're looking at the waste heat, which means the laws of thermodynamics still hold. At least we still have that. Well, if Eros isn't spinning anymore, how can I still have gravity? Well, Dresden said the proto molecule would break all the rules. What? Holy shit. Oh shit. Yeah, right. Alex? It's that damn rock. It's speeding up. This is the heck of a hurry to get somewhere. Guess that uh, rescue plan's put on hold. We're working on a contingency. Oh, okay, good. Because for a sec there, I thought maybe we lost control of the situation. <laughs> We have to embrace the obvious conclusion that Eros is some kind of weapon system, unlike anything we've seen. Oh, yes, a weapon. <sighs> Hammer thinks everything is an AO. I assume built by Mars? Who else? They provoke a conventional war as a smokescreen. 
then hurl this thing at us. Oh, you fucking idiot. Anything from Mars? It's nothing but denials and confusion. What's happening? There was this change for Jack 3, again. And it's accelerating. Where is it going? It's now on a direct collision course with Earth. What the fuck? Pierre Mao. Looks like your attempts to keep arrows under the radar. Said a few snags. You call yourself a man of the system, but I'm not. Earth is my home. So whenever you're ready, I'd really appreciate it if you make a fucking appearance and rein in your goddamn science experiment. Ah, we are gonna be making a fool of ourselves. Fools of ourselves? Fools of ourselves? I don't know, but we're gonna be calling our ex-boyfriends. Still not responding. Hang in there. That massive heat spike before Eros moved? What if that's the sea crystal that creepy guy was talking about? That's the engine that's moving Eros. I have a terrible idea. If Miller can get in there close with that warhead, he could kill it. Stop Eris in its tracks. Or at least something worse. What do you think, Miller? Crawl in there and blow up the thing that ate Julie. I think it's the best bad idea I've heard all day. Oh my god. I'll make the way. I can see him down there. To hell. What a job. Latest projection. Seven to ten billion dead. Another ten in the aftermath of environmental disaster. There's only one option left for planetary defenses. A massive missile launch at Eros. The odds are good that we destroy it. Yeah, but then all the bits. Or at least turn it into a million pebbles. Whatever biotoxin is inside Eros, can it survive in a vacuum or do we risk scattering it all over the system? Sadly, there's no time to conduct a study to satisfy your curiosity. Ready the arsenal. Oh my god. And get the secretary aligned to the Martian Prime Minister. We don't want them mistaking our missiles for a first strike. Fuck it out. Let's hope they're feeling warm and fuzzy today. The alien life in the universe. And I'm riding it. Like a tick on a dog. Hey, don't get all holding on me. Weird and chatty under pressure. Yeah. It must be real tough going up under a blue sky. Eight parents slobbering all over you. Hey now, wait till you get to know him better. He's got lots of layers. Oh, yeah, so what is a rock tunnel. That station so much as twitches while we're swooping in, they're gonna be sending what's left of us home in a doggy bag. He's risking his ass down there. How about we do the same up here? Yeah, I missed you too. Wow, he is brave. <sighs> Fucking hell. In all your years, did you imagine you'd see a moment like this? Nick. <laughs> Martian Prime Minister confirmed they won't consider our launch a preemptive strike. Only if they offer assistance. Maybe they want to see how well their weapon performs. Oh, fuck off! Or to watch how ours fails. Silos are open. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, we're about to get blown up. I don't like it. Miller. 
I see a corpse. There's a body. Didn't seem to be infected at all. That's weird. Good. What was that? Naomi, I didn't get I didn't catch you. Miller, I didn't say anything. It's not just you, Miller. I'm also hearing voices. Guess it must be going the right way. Steady on, Miller. Service exit. To your left. Miller, that shit is watching you. I shake the feeling I'm being watched. That's me. I'm watching you. And all that blue shit. Yeah, that, that must be it. Voices are... I can hear those voices. They're not alive, Miller. They're just echoes of who those people were. That pachinko parlor is now seriously spooky. Oh, that's the guy they choked out, isn't it? I think it's leaving the dead alone. Seems like it still has some use for the living. I want to know what that's about. Can we please stop dropping the bomb? It's like I'm gonna need a minute here, guys. We don't have a minute. We don't have a minute. We're about to get blown up. Oh, fuck's sake. Don't kill everybody. Oh, no. No, no, no. How far away is it? How long are these things going to take? Oh shit. We had to expect the launch was the only move. That's it. We should pull Miller out now. <gasps> Hi. What's going on out there? Funny you should ask. Earth just launched half her nuclear arsenal and I'm guessing they just target locked Aero Station. Oh, shit. But it does mean you're gonna need to pick up the pace down there. What the hell up now? Where's Eros? I can't find it. Hold it. Just lost radar lock on Arrow. What the? The whole damn station just vanished. Acknowledge, Tycho. It's off our radar too, but it's still right there. We have visual. It's just, it's just not reflecting radar anymore. What the fuck? How? So if its missiles can't see Arrows, then then they can't blow it up. Arrows is moving towards Earth on its own. What can you tell me about that? The flower is unfolding. This prick. It's becoming. How can we stop it? I have no idea. Why would you want to stop it? Our missiles. Eris vanished off radar. It's gone stealth. This is unbelievable. Who's going to explain that to me? Our missiles, sir. They're flying blind which makes them essentially useless. Incoming strong message from Fred Johnson on the emergency channel. Come on! Fred Johnson, does he have something to do with this? Just take the fucking message. UN Security Council, I have been monitoring this incredible situation on Eros and believe I have a solution. The OPA has a ship in visual range of Eros. My technicians would need to steer the missiles in. I understand the gravity of the request but need a response before the window of opportunity closes. This is exactly the kind of opportunity he's been waiting for. He can redirect our missiles at Mars or Earth. It's just the guidance systems. We still have our abort codes. He's a mad terrorist, your words. I need a moment. 
We'll have to take Fred Johnson's word for it. Or I could talk to the captain of this ship directly. Any message would have to be relayed through Tycho Station. Open a channel. This is fucking amazing. Miller, your feet's crapping out again. Shit. Repeat. Rusty. Well, I just keep following the heat, I guess. Captain, in this terrible hour, I appeal to your humanity. Can't take the razor back. I'm not alive. I'm not alive. There's no one here. There's voices. Madam Abbasarala, I'm James Holden, captain of the Rastinante. I've seen firsthand the hell that's going on inside Eros, and it mustn't be allowed to reach Earth. Fred Johnson is honorable. Give him access to your missiles and my crew and I will guide them in. There's no time to bargain. We can only choose to trust each other. I pray that we will. Good thing the assassins missed. We can't trust this man. Sir James Holden is neck deep in everything that's happening. Shut up! He's Fred Johnson's puppet. Now's the time of Vassarella. On any other day, this discussion would get us shot for treason, then thrown into a lunatic asylum. Give them the guidance control of the missiles, Mr. Secretary. I vouch for James Holden. We can trust him. What the caterpillar calls the end of the world. The master calls the butterfly. That's... Oh, my God. Miller! Hey, you trying to blow my eardrums? Listen, you need to move your ass in there. Earth's missiles are headed for Eris, and we're painting the bullseye. Don't put us in the really awkward position of having to blow you up. Now move. Yes, sir. 150 live thermonuclear missiles under your control. I believe that makes you the most powerful man in the system right now. Oh, really? Then go get me a cup of coffee. I feel like this. Eros is accelerating again. It's surging. I'm starting to think Eros doesn't like being followed or having things pointed at it. Do not lose visual! We are already burning hot as it is. I mean, you want to go flat out, the Rossi can handle it, but you got to understand, you burn like that, at some point, we're not going to be around to enjoy the ride. Eventually, one of those little blood vessels in your brain's going to go pop. The Rossi will stay with you on autopilot as long as it takes. You're keeping the welcome mat out for a couple hundred nuclear missiles, huh? That's the situation, so beat us to it, Miller, and we can all go home. I'll even give you a ride. All right. Good bottle of Ganymede gin. Miller doesn't stop arrows. Bye. All right, you're on. Chaser cut bait. Captain? Strap in, press max speed. You got it. All clear! Don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. All right, cowboys. And cowgirl. Here comes the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Incoming from the Rasanante. The ship is ramping to a 15G burn to match speed with the target. It will auto lock on Eros for the missiles. Survivability of the crew is questionable beyond this point. They're going to stay with Eros, even if it kills them. Heroes. Arjun, I need to stay here. I can't let. Yes, I expected you'd say that. I've been rehearsing this moment for years, but now that it's here, I'm lost. I smiled and grinned when you took that trip to the Sinai battlefront. I put on a good face when you almost died in that transport from Pallas. I know it hasn't even been easy. I know that, and I'm sorry. Stop it. Stop. Never have to apologize to me. Sorry. <laughs> Just know I want to be there with you. But our home is threatened. And if I left, you wouldn't respect me anyway. Why did 
did I marry such a great woman? You got very lucky, didn't you? It's building a brutal oh, shit. Bruja not on this last stretch. Another 50 meters or so. So far the station hasn't considered you a threat. Let's keep it that way. Slow down, you ornery son of a bitch. <laughs> there goes my spleen. Oh god. Shit. God. You know those voices on here? And I think this thing is taking the, I don't know, consciousness, whatever it is, makes us human. It's eating it, spitting it back out in some other configuration. No, we don't have time for this. Naomi's heat map. It's leading us right back to the Blue Falcon. Where we found Julie? I mean, where are the chances, right? The yeah. voices are getting louder. The closer I get to that. Jesus! Everything happening here is all built around Julie. Julie's the first one to get infected. Keep walking! And it was right there at the Blue Falcon. Proto molecule infected her. What if she infected the proto molecule back? You know, the Razorback, her old Yeah. Ship. I think she thinks she's on it. I think she's controlling this whole thing. She's the seed crystal. Oh, fuck! Down there. Stop chasing arrows! I can't do that! Tap the brakes then, asshole! This is gonna be a real short ride. Alex, tap the brakes, but do not lose visual. Jesus Christ. Oh. Your crew is gonna die for nothing. Back off now. I'll try to reach Julie. And get her to stop this rocket. You're gonna negotiate with a girl who thinks she's a space station? Well, you put it like that, it does sound kind of crazy. I love this. Look, we got one shot here. You don't back off. We don't even have that. Alex, power down. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, my God. Long story, no time for details, but I'm the one with the boots on the ground. Right now, it's imperative you divert Earth's missiles away from Eros. I'll await confirmation. Tell me you know what you're doing, you little shit. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe what I'm saying. He's not gonna make it, is he? What? Where's the bird again? Oh my god, imagine getting to see this though. You are. I was right. You're on arrows, kid. Aero station. They left me here all alone. They never came for me. Listen to me right now. This station, this rock is headed for Earth real fast. I dreamed that I was racing. 
Because I believe in you. You need a guy like me. And even something you can steer the ship. I'm done fighting. I just want to go home. Whatever happens, wherever you go, you're not going to do it alone. Fuck me. How is the whole world not watching this show? How have I not heard of this show? 
Oh. That was insane. I don't even know how to feel because I don't feel like that's the end of the protein molecule. I'm not even sure if it's the end of whatever Miller and Julie Mao are going to become. That felt like a season finale, not like a halfway through. Oh my God. I knew it. I knew it. I had faith that we were going to see Julie Mao again. I really felt like that was where that was going to go. And it still shocked the fucking bejesus out of me when it happened. The visuals of that, the, just the way they created Eros inside, especially when they got like to the Blue Falcon and just the sort of electric blue of everything and it just like it took me from being terrified to awestruck like almost thinking of Miller as really privileged to have been able to see this extraordinary thing you know what a way to go out to see something no one else has ever seen Oh, it was amazing. And his mood changed as well. I felt like he got really, look, real completion on, you know, he's a good man. I think he got to be the kind of man that he's always wanted to be. And he got to be with Julie, who he's sort of fallen in love with throughout this the course of attempting to find her. <sighs> I thought everyone was going to die at one point. I really thought everyone was going to die. I thought like, those missiles are going to come from Earth. They're going to blow us all sky high. But I mean, Miller, as we know him, is dead. Like the, he, He's not just walking off that and coming back to be with the crew. Miller is gone, as we know him, but is his, was the crashing into Venus enough to wipe out the protein molecule or not? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I'd like to think an explosion of that gravity, that just that whole thing would just wipe everything away. But I don't know. My gut instinct says no. And that's basically because they OP'd the fuck out of the proto molecule. This episode, like, it was doing everything. It was, like, stealth mode. It's speeding up. But... So I'm not putting anything past it. I'm going to wait and find out. I'm not writing off. Someone's going to have to tell me it's over before I believe it. I might even have to see that there's nothing going on. But Miller, as we know him, is, is dead. There's, that's for sure. No, no person is surviving that. Miller has either been, like, destroyed, or there was time for the protein molecule to take his consciousness and him and Julie Mao are now like king and queen of, <laughs> of whatever the fuck. It doesn't even feel right calling it the proto molecule anymore because it feels like this is like the things have moved on. It was actually amazing to see people come together to attempt to destroy Eros. I was really pleased to see that the right decisions were made at the right moments and that the general secretary was listening more to a than Aaron Wright.
very happy about that. Erin Wright is on my last nerve now. Jules Pierre Mao seems to be able at the moment. We didn't didn't see him this episode. Now he was not even returning Erin Wright's calls to her, uh, and that really pissed Erin Wright off, which made me kind of happy. But we know that Mao seems to be looking for another patron. Who the fuck is that? Is it someone we know? Is it someone inside the UN? Who else is he going to to have on his side? Mars? Has he gone to Mars? It would make sense if he went to Mars. Yeah, Mars could actually get quite a lot from this project. Oh, fuck. Oh, this isn't going to be good. I'm so proud of the team of the Ross and Ante doing everything that they could. They had to be told to stop and they, you know, they weren't far from from being space sludge by the looks of it. That was amazing. What an Just all three of those episodes were brilliant and they just, each one got better than the, the one before it. And each of them as they happened are my favourite episodes of the season, so of the series so far literally what's happened since i don't know episode 10 of of season one is every single episode i'm seeing is my favorite episode of the series one after the other um that'll have to take a break at some point i know because every show's got to have a slow moment surely but fucking hell oh and that the conversation between avasarala and arjun Oh, that got me right in my crawl. That was beautiful. That was all beautiful. I just loved it. Absolutely loved it. Oh my god, I'm so tired now. I feel like I've been for a war. I wish I could find the words. This is becoming my favourite show. Like... Full stop, no, like, favourite space show, or... This is just so good. How I felt when I was actually watching it, and I'll give it some time, but I was actually watching it thinking, this is one of my favourite episodes of TV. Period. Really, really amazing. Like, that was up there for me with, like some of the best episodes of the leftovers because it just had me in my feet like it went by in like two minutes i thought the acting was incredible as well the performances in this episode from everybody someone else in this show as well the dialogue is getting better and better particularly of Asarala, um erin wright Standout performances for me in this episode. Absolutely believed it. Miller believed every moment of it. He is that character. I'm not seeing someone act. I am proper shook. That was fucking amazing. Absolutely just amazing. I'm going to have to stop it there because otherwise all I'm going to do for the next 10 minutes is just sit here telling you what you already know, which is that this is fucking brilliant. So I will sign off for now. I'm going to have some editing to do. Um, I'm really glad I saw these episodes together. It hasn't hampered my reaction at all. This was definitely a day where I had the, had the emotional bandwidth to sit here and crack through it. I'm really glad I did. Oh, God. Oh, until the next time. Screaming fire hawks. Bye-bye. <laughs>